Thank you, Trey, for your leadership. And Jonathan, thank you for that moving rendition of, this, of our national anthem. Uh, also, I want to thank Colette Broussard and Russell Ames for your leadership of the Globe Employee Resource Group here at DOE. Because we're gathering just a bit over a week after the tragic events that took place in Orlando, and we are all marked by what happened there, I would ask you each to stand and join me in a moment of silence and remembrance for those who lost their lives and those who were, those who were wounded there. Thank you. So I am joining you today in solidarity as an ally and to express our full commitment to our workforce being one where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. We have to redouble our efforts to be inclusive. President Obama spoke about this as a responsibility for all of us as Americans when he said, Hatred towards people because of sexual orientation, regardless of where it comes from, is a betrayal of what is best in us. And I was moved to hear two young men describe their reaction to what happened. These are two young songwriters, Ellie Lieb and Brandon Chaye. In the immediate aftermath of the attack in Orlando, they wrote and performed a song called Pulse which they posted on YouTube in just a matter of hours. The core message of the song is, I shouldn't have to change who I am to count as human. Feel my pulse. Ellie Lieb talked about that message and said, everybody is different in the world, but that makes us all the same. There is no one right or wrong. It comes down to the human experience of showing love. Today, we gather here to reaffirm that we are one community, and we create a safe space where employees feel empowered to contribute to our vital mission every day. As I've frequently said in the all-hands meetings that I've conducted all around the country, our department's greatest asset is our employees, and our leadership is dedicated to creating a workplace that is healthy for every one of us. So we encourage you each to reach out to the Employee Assistance Program if you feel you could use some help during this time. The program is staffed by experienced and licensed counselors who offer confidential short-term counseling and referrals for various issues affecting your mental and emotional well-being. With that, I'd like to turn over the podium to Secretary Moniz, who will speak about diversity and inclusion efforts here at the department and what it means to move beyond marriage equality, today's theme. Thank you for being with us.